There are so many ways that you can motivate yourself in this kind of dry, uh, dark month of January. I have to get up for work at half past two every single day. And believe me, when my alarm goes off, the last thing I want to do is get out from under my cozy duvet. But here's the thing, in order to get up and feel good for the day ahead, you have to just do it. Do not hit snooze. As tempting as it may be, just get up. The minute you're up and in the bathroom and you've wet your face with cold water, you will feel absolutely fine. What can you do to remain focused and positive? Well, how about setting yourself some challenges? Why don't you get together with a friend or a family member, your other half? That way, at least you can keep each other company, you can call each other, speak to each other, find out how you're getting on and give each other kind of a slap on the back if you're doing well, or try and help motivate the other person if they find it's really hard. Doing something with someone else is just a great way to stay focused. There are 31 days in January, and if you are good the whole of January, think how much money you'll have saved. So maybe you can reward yourself. Why not say that if you can make it through the whole of January, then at the end of the month, you'll be allowed to treat yourself to something special. It's so easy to get caught up in the same kind of eating routine, isn't it? 2019 is about changing the way you look at your meals. Take some time out and maybe plan your meals for the week ahead. Have a look on social media like on Instagram or maybe on Pinterest, you can get some recipes there as well. In our house, it's a real battle to get everyone to want to eat the same meals. My husband and I might want a spicy stir fry. My daughter, uh, she'll have the stir fry, but she doesn't want the vegetables. It's a nightmare. So ideally, what you have to do is you have to try and find some kind of core meal that everyone will like. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll put little dishes out and we can add spices or we can add the sauce and then everyone gets to mix it themselves. So we have this new rule that we've introduced. It's ridiculous. We put a pencil on the table and whoever has the pencil, can hold the fort and can have the conversation. And once you stop talking, it goes back in and the next person can take it. It does mean that we spend time together and we have fun around the dining table. We are such losers, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I think that exercising as you get older becomes trickier. Sometimes it's really nice to start the year off with a fitness plan in mind, and it's something anyone can do. No excuses allowed. So for me, exercise isn't something that I feel I have to put into my day. It's something I want to, um, simply because I really like the way it makes me feel. I feel energized. I feel a lot more positive. It's kind of, it's kind of weird to say this, but I feel a little bit more relaxed. Gym memberships, let's be honest, they do cost a bit of money. Well, I've got a really good tip that will get your, your blood pumping, will get your heart racing. All you need is a skipping rope. It is actually a lot harder than you think, but if you can get 30 minutes of that done a day, you will notice the difference. My husband does half an hour to 45 minutes a day. He loves it. He just puts some headphones on, listens to music, and skips till his heart's content. Sometimes you just find that everything gets on top of you and you just feel bogged down with issues and suddenly you're stressing about something else altogether. I suppose just like many other working mums out there, the evening is a lovely part of the day where I get to unwind with my little girl and we just sit there. Sometimes she reads to me. Sometimes we just have a nice relaxed chat about the day. Uh, my dog Alfie is like my first baby. He's 11. He plunks himself directly on top of me and he snores so loudly it's ridiculous. But it's just so relaxing and lovely and you don't want to move. And so it's almost like forced relaxation time. I know there are people out there who just go to bed and wake up looking beautiful. That ain't me. <laughs> I have this lovely foaming cleanser by a brand called Caudalie, a French brand, which is really good and gets all the grime off. Um, then I also quite often use uh, like lovely products from Liz Earl just to kind of really refresh my skin. And then I use a brilliant overnight moisturizer from Elemis. I have realize really as I get older that it's so important to look after your skin. You only have one face, you need to look after it and also it's on show every day so if you don't look after it well <laughs>